Hi kids, this is teacher Vidya. Let's learn about the environment. The greatest threat to our planet is a belief that someone else will save it by Robert Swan, environmentalist. The term environment is derived from the French word environner which means to surrender. Environment means all the external conditions playable places things and nature surrounding an organism the environment is a combination of natural human and human made environments the natural environment includes both biotic and abiotic components Biotic components include all living organisms such as plants and animals. Abiotic components include all natural, non-living elements such as air, water and sunlight. The human environment includes human beings and their families, communities, religion and education. The human made environment includes all things made by humans such as buildings, roads, monuments and factories. Let us refresh our knowledge about four domains. Lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere. Lithosphere the lithosphere is a solid surface of the earth made up of an uneven rocky crust and a thin layer of soil. It has an irregular surface made up of various landforms like mountains, valleys, plateaus and plains. The lithosphere provides us land for agriculture and for building houses and roads. It is an important source of mineral wealth. Hydrosphere Water in all forms, solid, liquid and gas present on earth is referred to as the hydrosphere. Water covers three-fourths of the earth's surface in the form of oceans, rivers, lakes, ponds, groundwater and even in the form of glaciers. Atmosphere. The atmosphere is a layer of air surrounding the earth held in place by the earth's gravitational force. It is made up of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and other gases. The atmosphere provides us with life supporting gases and protects us from the harmful rays of the sun. Changes in weather and climate also take place due to changes in the atmosphere. What is an ecosystem? An ecosystem consists of living organisms including plants, animals, insects and microorganisms and their non-living surroundings or habitat. All living organisms interact with each other and are interdependent. They also interact with and are dependent on their surroundings. This complex relation of living organisms with each other and with their surroundings is referred to as an ecosystem. Ecosystems may be large or small, which includes oceans, rivers, lakes, ponds, grasslands, deserts and plains. Let us understand this with an example of a pond ecosystem which refers to fresh water on which different organisms depend for their survival to fulfill their nutritional needs as well. The ponds are the water bodies which are usually of 12 to 15 feet deep in which the sun rays can reach which results into growing of plants down there. Aquatic plants and algae grow at the bottom 
and on the banks of the ponds the stems roots and leaves of aquatic plants provide shelter to insects and other pond life including small fish and crabs a weed growing in the pond attracts insects which fish and frogs feed on that feed on the algae while bigger fish feed on the smaller fish birds like storks and herons feed on the bigger fish butterflies are attracted to the flowers of aquatic plants around the pond mammals like deer feed on plants in the shallow portions of the pond and amphibians and reptiles like turtles and snakes depend on pond plants for food and shelter predatory birds like eagles feed on fish snakes and aquatic birds human beings are a part of the environment they depend on the environment to survive and are also able to modify the environment according to their own needs the manner and extent of human interaction with the environment changes from place to place and even from time to time early humans dependent entirely on the natural environment they made tools out of stone and clothes out of animal skin they hunted wild animals for food and later discovered how to make fire to cook their food with the start of agriculture and invention of the wheel life became easier over the years humans began to interact more with others by conducting trade surplus food was exchanged for other items the barter system of trade was slowly replaced by the monetary system threats to the environment human beings not only interact with the environment but also modify it according to their needs for example Yearly man would clear out patches of forest near a river in order to cultivate crops and build houses. Today, this modification is on a much greater scale as the demands of the growing population are much more. Such modification when done without consideration to the harm done to the natural environment is the biggest threat to the environment today so many human activities threaten the environment causing pollution that leads to environmental problems that impact on us on a local and global level thank you so much kids